Top 20 Songs of 2018. Let's do it. My number 20 is the song Long Road No Turns by Daughters. An absolutely horrifying piece of metal, alternative, not alternative, like just horror music. It's, it's terrifying, it's huge, it's crazy, it's loud, and um, that's all I have to say about this song. The Mint featuring Navy Blue. This is an Earl Sweatshirt song. And I have to say that I could have literally picked, I basically flipped a coin and said, you know, a 15 sided coin and said, whatever side it lands on, that's the song I'm picking from some rap songs. The phenomenal Earl Sweatshirt album that was released in the year 2018. One of the best albums of the year easily, but it works for me kind of like Purple Moonlight Pages from 2020 as an album experience and it's not really with and where all the songs are basically the same level of greatness so it's hard to pick out a highlight. But I went with The Mint, one of the longer tracks on the album. Um, it's a great track. Just check it out. I dare you to find a rap song that slaps harder and that is more insane and high energy than Perks by Denzel Curry at 18. This is from Taboo, and like I said, it's just the most high energy track possible. It's so epic. It's so fun. It's, it's not something I've listened to a ton because it's so much on your ears because it's so loud and so out there. And in terms of the energy and everything, but it's an awesome track. Let's uh, switch it up, mind the pun slash reference, and talk about Soul Shine by Pogo. Soul Shine is the intro to the Pogo album Ascend, which I believe is Pogo's best album, but Cultures, which was released, you know, at the end of 2020, was also really good. So, yeah, Ascend is probably still his best album. And this is the intro to that album. It's a fantastic intro track it's everything great about pogo in one song it's wonderful check it out it's hot outside it feels like summer feels like summer by vince staples talk about that transition this song is a bop it's a banger it's a fantastic intro to fm uh vince staples summer jam album that's also about um murder and drugs and you know all the good stuff that Vince Staples likes to talk about but it's a uh, banger track and that is so fun and I've heard this so many times I come back to it all the time it's a great track like I said the way some science fiction does do 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 science fiction by Arctic Monkeys it's a banger it's um it's you know this is one that's not really a fan favorite from the album but it in my opinion is the best song on the album because it encapsulates all of the themes and ideas of the album into one song and it's kind of like the mission statement for the whole album where he, he basically says you know he's talking about the things that science fiction accomplishes and the, all these amazing things that science fiction can do and as a huge fan of science fiction I appreciate this kind of you know this outward facing lens on the effect that science fiction can have on people and what it can accomplish and that's what this is and talking about how through science fiction which is like the main theme of tranquility based on hotel and casino it's a sci-fi concept album how he can communicate these ideas um in a sexy way that isn't too obvious um and have subliminal messages the way some science fiction does and um it's a pretty cool song kanye west ghost town um, so Ghost Town is a bop. It's got a fantastic second half that I think totally eclipses the first half, which is good, but the second half is just that much better. And it's a really great track. It's not my favorite Kanye West song, but it is the best song on Ye and one of Kanye's best songs in general. Um, even though it's not my personal favorite. Your numbers don't add up on the blow. That was 10 years ago. If you know, you know. Um, by what's his name Pusha T this is a banger track and you know there's gonna be a lot of this song Ghost Town and the next song on this list were all produced by Kanye West I believe they're all produced by Kanye West during the summer of Kanye where all these artists released these like short albums that were produced by Kanye West and um, this song is a banger it's once again the best song on Daytona and um, it's just such a cool track. It's super weird. It's super weird. 
Like, it's really out there. It's it's crazy that Vince Staples, not Vince Staples, Pusha T can get on this beat that is so wacky and just absolutely murder it. And it sounds so cool, even though it's so weird and out there. It's a great track. Praise the Lord by ASAP Rocky. I'm not really an ASAP Rocky fan. I've never have been. I've never really liked any of his albums. But this song is so good, dude. The, like, the, the beat on this one, the and uh, the flow, dude. The flow, the performance, and the beat all come together. And the lyrics are good, too. And it's just such an... It's ear candy. It's just ear candy. I love this beat. I love this flow. I never get tired of this song. I've heard it, like, hundreds of times, and I still come back to it because it's just such a fun song, dude. Praise the Lord. It's a great track. Bambi by Hippocampus. Not the album, the song, because the album wasn't very good, but Bambi was a really great track, the title track off of that album, and um, it's really just a very nice, extremely well-made piece, very soothing, comforting piece of indie pop, indie, or you know, indie pop, alternative pop, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's just a really nice song. It's just very pleasant, and like I said, soothing, and it's just it's just a comfort food song for me, and it's great. My number 10 is Adult Swim by John Bellion. Adult Swim is a rap song, and that should raise some red flags if you've heard John Bellion's rapping, because he's not a great rapper, but this song has three distinct phases. You have the first beat, which is like, you know, like the intro beat, it's kind of cool, and then you get the second beat, and you're like, Oh dang! It's like like it like slows down and it gets more like a little bit moodier, but also like it gets more hype. It's it's moodier and more hype at the same time. And you get the third beat, which is heavenly. This section of the track, the the performance, the lyrical content, and the music is like you are ascending into heaven. It is beautiful. It is transcendent music. And you know, even though the rest of the track is nearly as good, and yeah, there are some corny bars, and yeah, John Bellion's style of rapping is a little bit corny, the, the, you know, it's all worth it in the end, because this song is, the third part, the third beat of this song is just so good, and um, it's a really, it, it, it's, a, it's a song that hits me kind of personally, and it's an awesome song. Wonder Woman, and I'm not talking about the DC movie or character, I am talking about the Casey Musgrave song. This was kind of like an Earl Sweatshirt situation where Golden Hour is such an amazing album. I could have picked any of the songs, but I basically just went with my gut and said Wonder Woman, the one that gets stuck in my head that's so beautiful and amazing and just, it, it's one of the ones that's not really sad or slow, but it's also not one of the really upbeat ones. It's not like High Horse or Velvet Elvis, but it's not one of the really slow ones like Butterflies or Slow Burn or Oh What a World. It's like an in-between space. And that in-between space is exactly where I want to be when I'm listening to this album. It's so nice. I, when I'm listening to this song, it is a great song. My number eight is Julia or Holy to the Lord on the Bells of Horses by Me Without You. It's a long title in the parentheses. And, um... This is once again, I see, I keep saying this a lot, but there were a lot of different choices. I wouldn't say I, I could pick any song from Me Without You's Untitled album, their last album, but this was the one that was my gut reaction because of the way the hook evolves and the way the song progresses where you start off with this one hook and the hook is fantastic and the, the intro music just hits so hard. The way the song immediately leap, begins just the second you hit the track and it hits you so hard right at the beginning. And then, um, yeah, and then the screaming and the, by the end of the track, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty emotional song and it's really fantastic. The writing is fantastic. The performances are fantastic. It's a really great track. Number seven, Lean For Real featuring Skepta, Playboy Cardi. Um, this song, I said, you know, I said that nothing hits harder in terms of rap music than Perks. And in terms of the raw energy, Perks does have more of that raw energy in the performance. But in the music, from a beat perspective, Lean For Real actually does go harder. But in a different way, because it's not as aggressive, it's more... It's, it's pretty, it is kind of aggressive, but it's not as aggressive, and it's more just corrupting your soul. It feels like he is, he is 
found some, he's uploading like your, your computer and he's uploaded a virus to your system and the song breaks you down as you're listening to it. It's a pretty intense experience and um, it's awesome. It's so cool. Lean For Real is an awesome song. My number six is one of the most cathartic and beautiful songs of 2018. It's Reborn by Kid See Ghost, another Kanye West song. Dude, Kanye West, every single, like, all the projects, I just realized that all of the Kanye West Summer of Kanye projects have some representation on this list except for the one with Nas. But even then, maybe there's a great song on there that I'm just missing because I remember it being kind of good. But um, anyway, Reborn, it's soothing, it's comforting, it's beautiful listen to it you you might just you know it might just be your night your new favorite song who knows my number five is the song lost by andy minio the last song off of the arrow which is my favorite album of 2018 i'll link my favorite albums of 2018 video in the description but um lost is a really beautiful culmination to the album the, the very highly conceptual album that is a very specific flow to it so it's not really a song i would recommend just listening to because i'm because it's on this list kind of like recommending the song uh drama from psychodrama by dave in my best songs of 2019 i'll link that in the description as well where it's you really it doesn't mean as much if you don't like listen to it like in order as the culmination as the final song of the album but um it's a it's a great song. Nobody by Mitski. I made an entire video talking about this song. I'm going to link it in the description. But Nobody is a awesome song. It is a pop song, and you know I don't really love pop songs, but it is a perfect pop song. It's got everything. It's got the vocals, the beautiful vocals. Mitski has a beautiful, amazing singing voice. Um, it's got the music. The music is infectious. It's fantastic. It evolves. It changes. It blasts during that hook, dude. And the lyrics are really great as well. It's an awesome pop song. Hey guys, I'm, I don't know why I zoomed down on my shirt. I'm editing the video right now, as you can see right here. And I just realized that when I did my top 20, my top 20 songs 2018, I completely forgot to talk about my number three, which is the song Long Time by Playboy Cardi. Um, it's my favorite Playboy Cardi song. I think it's the best song he's ever made. It takes you to another world, kind of like Lean For Real, but this is a world that's kind of slowed down and moving in slow motion instead of being, like, terrifying. It's still a little bit scary, but it's not as terrifying as Long Time. But anyway, uh, Long Time by Playboy Cardi, my favorite Playboy Cardi track, an amazing song in general. Check it out. My number two is Shame by Andy Minio. This is from a project called The Sword, which was not as good as The Arrow, but still really great and one of the best projects of 2018. And, um, yeah, Shame is a very personal track. I'm not going to get into it here. I'll just say, listen to the track. You might like it. You might hate it. The guest performance is one of the best guest features on any rap album ever made. Um, or any any song ever made, I'll say. It's by Josh Garrels, is the guy who does the does the uh, guest feature. He's a pretty pr a pretty obscure, not very well known uh, Christian singer singer songwriter who does the bridge of the song. And um, wow, one of the best bridges ever made. It's fantastic. And then you have to wonder how can anything top that song? If, if this song is so amazing in your in your opinion, Mac, then what could be better? Well. I think the song Love It If We Made It by the 1975 is somehow better. Love It If We Made It is much larger than life. It captures humanity and basically every single problem plaguing humanity in the 21st century, whether it be from technology to war to politics. It is all addressed in like individual lines that just fly by and you, you I say that and that doesn't sound like something that could work but it does it works fantastically and at the center of it all the verses are are like rapid fire talking about all the problems that plagued humanity that that plague us in the 21st century basically you know either on american soil or elsewhere and um and then you get to the hook which is I'd love it if we made it. I'd love it if we made it, which is this, you know, this plea to humanity and human love that ultimately surpasses all of the chaos and all of the problems. And um, that's a beautiful message. Also, the music is euphoric. It's legitimately 
like one of the most amazing songs from a musical perspective I've ever heard. The vocals are great. Like I said, the lyrics are so dense and so, but at the same time, pretty simple when you get to that hook. I'd love it if we made it. I mean, it's, it's a fantastic song. I tried to do this video a little bit faster. You could tell from my super, super fast intro, my super brief intro, because I was just looking at my other best song lists, and they're long videos, man. 20 minutes plus on my best of 2020, and then some of the other ones are kind of long. I don't remember how long the 2019 and 18 one were, but I tried to do this a little bit faster. I uh, hope you guys enjoy that, you know, me talking less. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great rest of your day.